There is danger to life all about us, each moment of time claiming another victim somewhere. But whether the danger level is high or low, it seems that every twist and turn we make presents hazards that annually cause many thousands of casualties. A moment's distraction, inattention to detail, a split-second hesitation. These are typical of the things that can shorten our lifespan or end it. The chemical laboratory has an element of danger which is often underestimated, especially where new chemicals and new reactions are quite normal features. Everything that is used in a chemical laboratory should therefore be treated with respect, for while it's well known that some chemicals are dangerous, other chemicals, notably among the common solvents, may be even more dangerous and yet be thought practically harmless. Take benzene, for example. First discovered by Faraday in 1825, it's a colorless, volatile liquid having a characteristic odor which isn't unpleasant. Used a lot in laboratories, this solvent is highly poisonous and its toxic effects demand the utmost caution in its use. Danger level rises when the liquid is allowed to evaporate and is breathed in with the air. Although your day-to-day -day using benzene may tend to be routine, don't let familiarity lull you into carelessness. At each stage of an experiment, use safe working practices. The toxic effects of benzene can be avoided with certainty only by observing the simple rule avoid breathing vapors. If another less dangerous solvent cannot be used instead of benzene, then begin and end the work in hand here, in the fume cupboard. A well-designed fume cupboard, kept in good working order and clean condition, is your best safety aid. Vapors are drawn out into the open air where they can do no harm. Why are the vapors dangerous? When inhaled, benzene can attack the body's blood cell production centers, injuring the bone marrow. Repeated exposure can lead to aplastic anemia and leukemia with fatal results. How much exposure is dangerous? Well, if the vapor can be smelled, it's there in dangerous quantities. Even three cc's allowed to evaporate in a room this size is sufficient to cause damage. Breathing in the vapors several times a day over weeks, months or years, for there is no time factor, will cause a cumulative effect of a serious nature, even three cc's. Don't worry, this isn't benzene, because no one could be quite so stupid as to handle it like this. Handling large quantities of benzene greatly increases the danger of vapor escaping into the air you breathe. Carelessness in the handling of benzene can have damaging results for others as well as yourself. But you can still cut these risks down further by working well inside the fume cupboard, not on the edge.
In too many chemical laboratories, safety practices have been forgotten or are ignored. Examples aren't hard to find. Here, the solvent evaporating into the air could affect anyone in the laboratory. This work should be carried out in the fume cupboard, and solvent wet hands should be washed. Here, too, the escaping vapors, however small the amounts may be, add to benzene's cumulative poisoning effects. Now he's greatly increasing the danger by boiling off the solvent. Only the fume cupboard can provide a safe place for this work. Again, out come the vapors, building up the danger level. In paper chromatography work, benzene must be handled where it can do no harm, entirely in the fume cupboard. Good safety practices can be seen, of course. A sink in a fume cupboard is the place to clean up glassware after use, wearing gloves. But have you ever left benzene-soaked filter papers lying about? Or a stopper out of a bottle? Benzene has caused at least 50 deaths in Australia during the last 10 years and an untold number of chronic poisoning cases. The danger is always about you, but the simple and vital rule of void breathing vapors could make reminders unnecessary if it is observed. If not, consider that even after the weeks, months, or years of exposure have ended, each passing moment could be the one when this insidious poison has reached its critical and final effect. Think about it. It may be a matter of survival.